Welcome back guys to CryptoFly channel. Today we'd like to talk about Solana plan for 2023, how high or how low we can drop this year and potential move for the next bull run. Let's dive in. First of all, what do you have to understand about the market? Not every single time when you read the headlines, magazine article about some major updates, major partnership, it's good news. And why we're on this channel analyzing only the technical picture and based on my indicator set, what I showed you in my previous videos and how this indicator play out with over than 80% win rate. Uh, because uh, here, just a pure example. Here, Google Cloud made an announcement, November 5, 2022. Sol was at the peak around $37. This was the news about the partnership between Solana and Google Cloud. And on the next day, when everybody jumped in Sol because of this major news, Sol dropped at 68%. That's why fundamental analysis, it's great, but it's not every single time play out like you want or uh, like you think it will play out. That's why we, you have to just analyze the data and the price on the chart, what you can see in this current moment. Here, what I'm posted on November 24. So my idea was, so after FTX collapse, we drop it here. I am expect, so we can drop to 27 level. Uh, so 27 zone was between $7 till $4.76. So I'm expect them all like this one, and bounce to $27.45, like correction to 61 level by peep. So how it play out, uh, you see on the chart, we didn't touch this imbalance zone, what I'm expect between uh, around $7 till uh, $4.80, we didn't touch. So the lowest point was uh, here, uh, $8. So $3 I miss, but we made a perfect correction to this top $27, yes, $27, just a few penny. So all this move on the daily, you can see, here's a post 5 November, post Google Cloud, drop, and in this area, I'm waiting the drop like this one, and correction to uh, $27. So just a few dollars, we didn't touch my targets, but a correction is done. Uh, what we can see now, if we are just zoom out, and looking on Solana for sole potential uh, for this year and for the next ones. First of all, this FIP relevant. So like you remember, I already explained to you uh, and people forgot. So the big institutional, big investors and venture funds bought Solana at 20 cents. So just imagine everybody who bought at 20 cents. So for example, even, even we, if we count from uh, 40 cents, these guys still in profit around 5k percent. So they can drop Solana even from this current price down. If we count the FIP from this top $259 and we found a support exactly at $75.35. We get reaction almost touch 38 level by FIP. And like you always know, we have to drop. It's not a necessary, so we have to. But most likely we will drop to 27 zone. 27 zone, what is? It's an accumulation zone for investors, for uh, whales, for institutional. Here, we drop zero level, correction to 38 level by FIP and collapse. And like you can see how this levels play out. Here is a 18 level by FIP reaction. Here is a drop to 27 uh, level, 25.52 reaction to 18 level by feet once again and collapse uh, because of uh, FTX crash, you know. We got two gaps which we can come back and close one more time. So like you can see, we get reaction at 27 uh, level. But if Bitcoin going to correction and we will not see the out season, we have all chances to close this fair value gap on a weekly time frame. It's between $11.49 till 1427. So this most likely can be like a support and we can start forming the double bottom. So the size of this double bottom can play out like, like this one. So if we're forming the double bottom, the size can be like this to close 50% or even with a, a weak candle, we can reach $75 once again. 
or close at least 50% of this week fair value gap uh, it's around 66 dollar so this is how it play out uh, it, so the targets even without the indicators so the targets now for the drop it's this zone I don't think so I don't think so uh, we will collapse it down to this gap what I marked before but everything everything possible everything possible because these guys who uh, bought Solana at 20 cents and who didn't sell it uh, they still in profit five hundred percent five five thousand percent so this is the last stage for Sol if the market collapses once again and altcoins bloody one more time more so just mark it four dollar eighty uh, six dollar fifty so this is the last stage for so I don't think so will drop lower to two dollar or so because we don't have to close every single imbalance uh, zone like I showed you on a Bitcoin we got a lot of imbalance zone on Bitcoin at uh, forty dollar twenty dollar one hundred dollar so we, we didn't uh, see this so we never seen this levels again that's why it's not an answer so we have to always trade every single zone for uh, altcoins or bitcoin if we take a look on positive scenario it's uh pump to 75 dollar close fulfill of this gap it will be zero level just to be honest i don't think so we will go over than 23 level by feet 118 or even 0 0.38 level by feet to grab this stop losses 145 this year so this uh, this targets it's more for the next bull run but not uh, this year you have to understand it. and also you have to understand not every single altcoin will be the previous all time high i already explained it to you because we every single year we get a more and more new projects new coins so it's not enough the money and liquidity on the market to invest in every single altcoin to reach new all-time high so you can open the chart of uh, cardano algorands iota and many other coins they forming after all-time high for example 2017 or 18 for example like this all-time high the soul can can make a move like this one and collapse it down so it can be the eye in the next bull run around 200 dollars and start forming the huge double bottom on a weekly and after that maybe after the one cycle with all mass adoption when we flip all finance system and solana survive it during all this time period yes we can see the new time high of course it's just my humble opinion you know because the people got a narrative so we have to on the next bull run be the previous all time high no just open the chart of uh, many other altcoins which uh, didn't beat the previous all time high on the cycle on the next two cycles so just just be careful with your uh, with your expectations so your expectations is only your problem uh, just by this feep if we will beat the previous all time high so the targets can be uh, 373 or 558 but I don't think so it's just my humble opinion I don't think so will beat the previous all-time high for Solana next bull run uh, what we can see uh, based on my indicators so for FIP I market the level uh, this gaps I market of course over this this level 145 there are a lot of stop losses so it will be the magnet uh for correction for healthy correction to 0 0.5 level by feet so it will be the more than healthy correction so if you accumulate for example sold at eight dollar it was not a mistake even if uh, you accumulate i think now with 25 and use this strategy uh, at 11 or even at four it's also uh, i don't think so will be the mistake because uh, even from 12 dollar till this correction to 0 0.5 level by FIP, it can be 1k percent so it's good it's good um so now we will dive into my indicator set and you will be so impressed so here here's how it play out uh it's accumulation distribution we always analyze my indicators on a higher time frame because we are talking here about the investment not a, a scalping or a local intraday trades we have to always zoom out and double check uh so here it was a distribution in April so it's accumulation distribution indicator the green zone is a distribution red one is accumulation of uh, whales institutionals so here is the top from the one dollar to 47 we got a peak and then 
we start forming the pure divergency. So if you use these indicators, you definitely warn it to our this and this uh, levels because here's the top and the big whales institutional distribute their coins and we drop it down but retail investors continue to buy the big whales start accumulate when everybody panic sale they start accumulate in opposite way so here the massive drop in june so the average price can be around 30 dollar just mark it and we're forming the huge divergency down here 30 drop one big accumulation but divergency like this one you can see uh, drop to eight dollars so average price now for these guys it's around for example uh, 18 and yes of course we can drop even like this one to forming one more divergency forming the lower low and we can see something like this and the average price of these guys uh, will be around $10 for so. That's why to start distribute their coins, we can see something like this one on the chart. And in this area, we will see the top uh, on ADZ once again and can drop it down one more time. So this can be the top for 2023 for Solana. Maybe, maybe higher. I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, just my humble opinion. So uh, we got the bullish signal because we got a divergence on a weekly time frame. Let's go to next indicators. It's a uh, crypto flight direction on a weekly time frame. Here we got a confirmation to buy. A confirmation to buy signal appear here. On a weekly time frame. Here accumulation from October signal to buy was here uh 32 percent on the daily of course the signal appear earlier here in january exactly after the drop uh 178 percent so it's nice this is how it play out uh so it all depends of your uh, trading strategy and your trading style you know you can trade on daily time frame on a weekly but just to be honest i use these indicators uh, uh, on a weekly and a monthly you know, uh, like confirmation uh, investments were the best time to buy. So let's go to the market mode here. Uh, every single time when you see the extreme red color, it's time to distribute. That's why even the people uh, here at $1, at $2, they was in a profit because they bought, sold at 20 cents. So it was all this time period, one and a half year distribution till uh, January, yes, two years distribution for Solana to retail investors, to the hamsters. And here, when we see the white color, according to market mood, it time to accumulate. So we came into May, June accumulation. All this time period was accumulation. You can use it. This is a strategy. And we have to see once again the uh, green color, yellow color to start distribute. So maybe we'll see something like this one, like this zone, this green, yellow and drop one more time. So you can also use the market mode to determine the best entry point and why we can drop one more time like this one, even after the move like this, we will be still in a downtrend and we collapse one more time because we're still in distribution area. When we will, we will see the uh, cold blue mode or white color on the market on this indicator on a monthly, it will be the extremely bullish signal. Now the whales still distribute their coins, some of them. Uh, let's go to money power. I'm not analyzing, it's more for in intraday and uh, for scalping. Uh, let's take a look on trade on here. Signal to sell. At the top in may signal to sell at september signal to sell at the top in november we got recommendation to close position so now we didn't see any signal to buy on weekly time frame maybe the new signal to buy appear when we will, when we will drop like this one maybe we'll see first uh, the signal take profit like i showed you on cardano for example a chart and after that we'll see new signal to buy uh, and pump a higher 
If not, yes, we can drop even even lower. So it's it's definitely not time to sell. So if you're uh, ready to hold for a long run, on daily time frame, it's for intraday for swing traders here. We collapse it uh, after FTX here. Three signal to buy, recommendation close position, confirmation signal to buy, take profit signal to sell out of position. Now we got recommendation close our short position here. Maybe uh, we'll see new signal to buy like this one here. It's not necessary, so we have to drop like this one. Now we can, even from this current price, this signal will be relevant. We can go into our targets if we'll see the altcoin season. And then we will see the major signal to close position on a weekly and correction down once again. Don't be so greedy. And if we make a move like this one, you can withdraw your initial deposit. Just leave free coins. Because anyway, we'll go to correction once again. I don't think so. I don't think so. We will make something like this one. No, no. So don't be scary if you miss it to buy a soul at $8. So let's take a look now on take profit. Because take profit indicator is almost the best indicator what I ever seen on the market. And this is my best indicator for, um, for swing traders for position traders and for uh, investment because it always shows the best entry point on the weekly for investors and on the daily for swing traders for on a daily time frame every single time when we touch uh, or we drop under formula price we bounce formula price bounce and we always have to uh, touch take profit line when we touch take profit line we'll drop it down so now on the daily we have all chances, like you can see, drop to the buy line. Buy line, it's a 15, $14. Uh, With weak candle, we can drop 50% of this range between buy line and fundamental price. So the last line, it's the fundamental price. So real value uh, on different time frames, it can play out uh, with different metrics. Uh, so this is like a magnet now for soul, this one. But on the weekly, it's for uh, investors, like you can see. We trade a long time period under fundamental price. So here, let's take a look date range. We drop it under fundamental price and we trade almost one year under fundamental price. So anyway, in any condition, it's good time to accumulation. Of course, these lines are dynamic. We can drop it like this one, but, uh, but it will be not a mistake if you accumulate so now. Just my humble opinion, you know. That's why the targets, the minimal targets for Sol, like you know, these lines are dynamic. So the first target, it's a fundamental price, $33. Buy line, over than 18 level by FIB, uh, 45. Close this imbalance zone and we can touch even with a weak candle of 88. Exit line at 99. So 100, it will be the crucial crucial psychological price for Sol. So most likely now what we can expect, even from this current price, it's uh, around 300 mu to take profit line. So guys, I highly recommend you watch again these videos and trying to understand the logic of every single uh, indicator what I show you in this video because every single indicator got own data, own metrics and showing the totally different parameters. That's why I use all these indicators in complex with technical analysis. So guys, I hope you like this video about Solana. Write please comment what do you think about the Sol in general. Can we beat the previous all time high in the next cycle? And how low we can drop if the Bitcoin going correction before the altcoin season. Guys, I hope you like this video. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. If you want to trade with my custom indicator, set six in one, only for one dollar per day, just write me DM. Link will be on the description below. And don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.